Hi guys, so I do have, yeah, I'm all over the place. You have a lot of explaining to do regarding where I have been and uh, this will just explain everything. I have been in the hospital for the past two weeks. Yes, the hospital. Okay, so here's the story. I was rushed to the hospital on September 5th by my friend. She dropped everything, all her plans to come and get me and rush me to the, ho to the emergency room. And it was very, she pretty much saved my life because if I was not admitted to the hospital, I would have been not here today making this video for you guys. I did find out some news about what has been going on with me and it has been going on for a long time and I just didn't know about it. Pretty much it started out, I got sick and I thought it was just normal. It was just coughing and then it eventually escalated to no sleeping at all. Like at night time, I was not able to breathe. I had like short panic attacks and it wasn't pleasant. And I just, it just felt so awkward and so abnormal. So I just thought, okay, probably this will go away in a couple of days. And then the Thursday where I was admitted to the hospital was when everything just went downhill. My breathing just was very abnormal. I had shortness of breath. I couldn't breathe for more than a couple gasps. And then I texted my friend. I said, hey, you need to come and get me and bring me to the hospital. I was scared to call the 911. I was admitted and, you know, all they did was stuck needles in me and it was just not pleasant. And then results come back saying that I had so much fluid in my lungs that it made it hard for me to breathe. My heart was oversized because of the fluid and I was anemic. And then here's the big one. I have the kidney, I have kidney problems. So that was the first hospital. Then the second hospital that I was transferred to, I was transferred to UCSF and we found out that I have chronic kidney failure. 50% of both kidneys are damaged. That was the last thing I wanted to hear. I did not want to hear any of that. And don't mind this rash. I don't know why I have it. So just, it's disgusting. It means that I may need a transplant. I need to find a donor. So right now I am on dialysis, which is a treatment that replaces, it's like a synthetic kidney treatment to work as my kidney. So I go in for treatment three times a day for three hours, Tuesday, Thursday, for, uh, Saturdays, um, until hopefully my kidneys get better, which is not likely, which is what I heard from my doctors. or when they find a donor. I've spent two weeks at a hospital. Uh, my first time being in a hospital, I have never been in a hospital besides me being a baby and being born, but um, yeah, I was at the hospital pretty much. And as for my school situation, I am currently not going to school. I have dropped all of my classes to focus on getting better this semester and hopefully in spring semester I will be returning and going back to school and you know yeah just try I've been trying to just relax and not sh and I also I have high blood pressure so yeah um yeah that's bit what's been going on with me this is what they do at my treatment. It's a catheter. So it's two tubes where they uh, attach two more tubes to where they like, it's hard to explain because I, I'm still trying to learn it too. 
it's they take out all the toxins and the poisons out of my body I did lose weight uh, I lost about 40 pounds it was 40 pounds worth of the bad toxins in my body so that's why I was so chubby and I had like I was swollen and I didn't even realize that was the fluid in my body. Switched over to my phone because my camera ran out of battery. Oh, here. Yeah, my catheter. That's my surgery. So here I have like a scar from the first catheter because they messed up. Yes, they messed up and now I suffer with a scar. And I, bl I literally bled to death and I fainted a couple of times. Uh, not fainted, like passed out. Yeah, passed out, fainted, it's the same thing. And then... I did a kidney biopsy where they took little tiny samples of my kidney. So I have, it's on my back. And then I have another scar on my back where they did, they took out all the fluid from my lungs. So I have gone through four procedures, one more and then probably another one. The last one will probably be my transplant. I'm going through one more where they remove this catheter and they're going to put an, a catheter ew, what is that? Like on my arm, wherever they find a, a good vein. Things happen and it's life. I have to deal with things and uh, YouTube just has been put on hold right now. First reason why YouTube's been put on hold was because I started school. Then my health condition happened. 